How cool is that? And huge. Open 8 a.m. to 17 p.m. No pets allowed. Huge. Let me take this helmet off. It's huge. It's just huge. Look at the shoe size. <laughs> oh, look at the view. Enormous. the shrine bridge let me zoom it out you can get a wider look I just want to go back here and see the view. Okay. <laughs> Must be some pretty important man and a woman. Honesty, integrity, pretty cool. So good day, my people. So I think you kind of figured out that I rented for the day. Um, it's my last day. I'll be leaving in, in the morning. So I thought, why not take the chance? So it rained this morning through the night. It hasn't rained today, but does it mean it's not going to? And yeah. So, let's keep moving. Pretty awesome, huh? I have no idea what it is. Because I don't see anything in English. But that's cool. That's what I have to say. That's unique. I don't know who this is, but it's pretty unique. Made out of logs still with like the partial lamb. Pretty cool. Right? How beautiful is that? All these islands. It's just so cool. Zoom it in. So you can get a better picture. Look at the mountains. I mean, islands and mountains. Cool. Yeah. 
This is just so beautiful, right? Check that out. Goodness. A lot more dogs here on Koh Samui. And um, they're a lot more aggressive. But let's change the subject back to this. How beautiful is that, right? Amazing. All the colors, bright tour boats. They'll take you out there, probably in the islands, in the distance. And a dog. I am at Koh Samui Airport. Even though this is a small airport and it's domestic flights, it's an amazing airport with amazing views. So let's check it out. Where are these big water puddles? And it's early in the morning. Waiting area, gate one. That's the gate I will be going on, and I want to show you how cool the bathroom is. This is the cool part. I'm not going to show too much because it's in the bathroom, but... Just to give you some idea. Uh -huh. You're like, let me out of here. They look hungry, but they look healthy at the same time. But it's pretty cool. Get ready for boarding. But it's pretty cool. And you get free coffee and free orange juice over here and some snacks. But it's pretty cool. You're not like in this building per se. I don't know if I take a video of this because there's a guard standing there but how awesome is that beautiful Bangkok pretty cool huh I don't have time to go in this temple today and I'll explain why it's because my visa is running out, so I have to leave the country. And so, I'm just in the city, walking about, until it's time to uh, leave. So, I don't have a lot of money on me, which I bought, meaning. And I don't want to draw any out of the bank. So, i got to be careful. But, let's enjoy the day.
like that. Vietnam. <laughs> Pretty incredible. All these places in life you think you'd like to go when you end up there, right? The power of energy. When you put your mind to the positive, off you will go. <laughs> Pretty incredible. And of course, the well-known dragon. So I'm actually going to take a walk, I think on the other side. And I think this is called the Mekong River. I think. I'll have to check that one out too. <laughs> but look at the beautiful mountains in the background. Right? I just arrived yesterday so uh, it was an exhausting journey even though um, it was only one, one hour and 45 minutes from uh, Bangkok, Thailand. But um, prior to that, I took a um, I took a plane from Koh Samui to Bangkok. I didn't get a hostel overnight, so I walked uh, Bangkok City for a while, and uh, it was quite enjoyable. But I had to carry my backpack, which is heavy, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, so I walked around, and then I stayed to the uh, airport until my checkout the next day, which was uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. So. Uh, quite tired actually, so I arrived yesterday, slept most of the day. But today I'm out and about, and uh, yeah, let's go check some stuff out. Alright, it's huge. But I'm uh, loving it. Touristy people. Follow the dragon. It's very windy since I got here as well. But I'm not complaining because it's nice and cool. Look at that view. Incredible. It's incredible. I'm actually kind of, I know this is very, very bad to say, but I'm kind of disappointed because it's, I thought it was going to be different. Um, it's a bit like all metal, um, industrial dragon, and I thought it would be more like um, historical, but it's still amazing. Absolutely stunning. Look how cool this wall art is. Beautiful. Alright. That's where we just come from. Loving it. I love to see these old wooden boats because back in the community where I grew up, they had wooden boats like this. made out of wood. Um, yeah, I'm quite thankful. <laughs> Pretty amazing. go this way. I think it's going to rain. The clouds are dark and I got some spots on my glasses. Bridges. Some of them's pretty new. That one. 
some of them have been here for years. History. Hundreds and no, I think we can go thousands and thousands of people. But this is pretty cool, right? You see they're doing construction. You still see the big bad girl. It's very windy but it's a nice cool day so I'll take it. you see a lot of debris in the uh, water is because of been four weeks ago they had a typhoon here my understanding and it come right through Da Nang and probably other areas of Vietnam so they say that's why all the debris pretty cool it seems as if this ship is actually a restaurant Yachi Lounge a little bit more than my pocket. It's quite beautiful here. I watch where I'm stepping. Yeah, I like in it. And I want to get down there. <laughs> And I just don't see any opening. Oh, just as you speak, ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> I think this is so pretty. I love these boats. Beautiful, right? Isn't that big bad boy? I heard the story behind these, and uh, usually they're made out of, these are fiberglass, and some look plastic, but definitely got some fiberglass. They're usually wooden. I heard the story behind that because of the invasion of the French, I think, French, British, one of the ones, and uh, they, had to, they were taxing boats, boats, B-O-A-T-S, so the uh, intelligent common man got smart and made these and used these instead so they couldn't classify them as boats so they couldn't tax them. The story goes something like that. That's not word for word, but you can check it out. After a bit of walk, some food in the belly, we have come to the waters, the beach. Wow. I don't know if you can see that statue over there. All right, let's get going. This is so amazing. How beautiful, right? Nice soft sand. Oh wow, check that out. Mountains. There is a statue. Let me see if I can zoom it in. 
take a while for it to right there. I'll have to go visit that at some time. But pretty amazing. I don't see nobody in the water, just a little bit wading their feet, but I don't see anybody swimming. Pretty amazing. One way of getting around on the beach. <laughs> How cool is that? What I was trying to say back there is that they have a lot of uh, things like this outdoor for the children, which is pretty cool. Wings, slides, entertain the children. It's pretty good. Oh, the sand feels good. It's not hot either, it's just warm. Welcome to number two beach. I'm not, I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> but really really nice beautiful view there's nothing better than having a beach and surrounded by mountains it's just amazing yeah here we have some more getting ready to go out in there little round boats I think I explained according to what I read online why they had these little round boats so that back in history if you had a boat you were taxed. Uh, I think this was when the uh, French Empire was here or something. Don't quote me on that one. But uh, they made them round so they weren't considered boats so therefore they didn't have to pay the tax. Sometimes the mouse has got to outsmart the cat, which I think was very intelligent and creative. Let's see if we can take a look and get a little closer. Oh, look at the pretty fishy. Look at that long one. They're jumping right out. Maybe they catch these and eat them or use them for bait. I have no idea. Oh, that poor little one. Pretty amazing people. That's what I have to say. I would say they must have caught the big one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hauling this rope in. Maybe it's just the netting that they put out there and there they haul it in. Let's go closer to these boats because I find them pretty amazing. Not sure what they're made out of. But how cool is that? Looks like fiberglass. And I'm going to say it is. Pretty cool. One paddle. Amazing. I'd be going around in circles. <laughs> but, uh, I see the rope. It goes way out there. Like, so maybe the net. They're hauling the net in with the fish. I don't know. Just guessing. Pretty cool though.
must be a long ways out there. I don't know. Another one going out the boat. I think they must take the net out and then haul it in by hand. Pretty cool. They work together. Happy people.